This is June Universe at Ninja Intuitive. Three minutes blind reading quickies. Thank you for allowing me to be in your experience. Participating co creative energy of oneness by listening live at Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, with archives in iTunes and YouTube by requesting intuitive readings and healings from www.thatfutureforecaster.com Join in participating co-creative energy of oneness. Happy holiday everyone! This is the last podcast of November. So let me invite the other live stream here. As usual, live, we are live radio show to see how everyone is doing. Okay. So, those of you listening, Spreaker.com. And I Heart Radio. Normally, I Heart Radio listeners、um, joining me as an、uh, archives, but today I would like to invite you as an、uh, live podcast. This is June Universe. Hi, thanks for joining me here today from、um, Video Live. So,、um, today actually I have an exciting、um, news to share that、um, Holiday Walkout Challenge 22 Days Mind and Spirit Online Course will be happening starting December. Yay, actually, this week. Is the change of the month already? So, can you believe, guys, that we only have one month to wrap up the year 2016? So, I would like to talk about this exciting program, the 22 Days Walkout Challenge, that anyone Can join for free who is willing to get organized about your year this year and get prepared for new year with more aligned to the heart of the mother with the conscious choices. So each day we're going to share the attentions and exercise of 5% of awareness to. Get into know where we are and what we are thinking, doing. When we are joining here each week, then we are pretty good exercising each week to connect with ourselves, giving ourselves attention and noticing what we are noticing, feeding, choosing the word for resonating. Feeding to the current here and now, which I'm gonna do it today also. So, this 21 days exercise is to write it down and then organize more practically to getting clear about what we've been doing and what we really want to do for upcoming year so that more consciously we can experience. What excites us most in coming year as very, very refreshed stands to dance the life of experience 
experience of life, whichever. So that's what I would like to talk about. And um, again, let us start with the conscious breathing exercise as usual. Are you ready? Okay, so let us give our attention to top of our head and notice what you're thinking right now, giving your attention all the way down, scanning your being from head, what you're thinking, what you're noticing. What you um, smelling, I'm noticing the sun comes in from the window, balcony, it's a beautiful day here in Far East. And what you're smelling, I'm smelling my incense, I just burned for clearing the air and get centered. And, you know, going down to the throat and both shoulders and notice that physical sensation of the back of your neck and show both shoulders down to the chest, back of your chest, just like scanning your body in the MRI system but with your awareness around your body, inside of your body, in between the space, in all the organs under the skin. So giving your attention to the stomach areas and make it going down to the pelvic area and hips and joint and the both legs and all the way down to the knee and down to the ankles and feet connecting to the floor and the mother earth so now we are choosing the one word Noticing the feeling, the mood that now you are with. The feeling word most resonate to your current state. I am, I am excited. The word I choose for feeding is exciting. How about yours? I highly recommend you to write that down, the current feeding, one word, choose one word. Onto a piece of paper or the notebook with the date of this day. So mine is excited. Okay, how about yours? Did you choose your feeding word? So those of you who are having a difficulty knowing which is the feeding word, then I have a good emotion-related feeding word in English at my blog site. You can go to my blog site what was the address? Oh, yeah. Um, JuneUniverseNow.tumblr.com JuneUniverseNow.tumblr.com And if you go to that, when you go to that blog page of mine and click on the archive and look for the month of... May. I said the other day March, but it was May. And there's a black and white square visual. And you see the wheel of the word. And that's the, that's the one that uh, 
very helpful tool to look into it and then find a word that resonates to the current feeling that we have. Sometimes we are um, having a difficulty connecting what we are feeding, you know, and then when we see it and then you can filter in, oh yeah, this, this feels right or this is not the case, you know. So that, that's very helpful. Just to give you an idea, mine is exciting today, but not necessarily resonating to mine. That's because my feeling, and which is different from yours. So yours can be happy, loving, feeling connected, calm as in a positive ones. Or when you are in the challenging point of creation, then perhaps that anxiety, angry, or sad, or feeling lonely, or you know, you got the idea. So it's very important to honestly scanning your feeling. Who's going to do that? That's your consciousness. Observe yourself, which is only 5% of a human being system. So most of the time, that's including when we are sleeping, closing our eyes physically, or perhaps sometimes even we uh, open our eyes, then still in sleep. <laughs> that's what the challenge is. So this is an exercise to use our conscious observer to notice what's happening within us, the feeling, especially invisible. But we are always with that feeling. Wherever we go, whatever we do, feeling is part of us, so as our physical body. Sometimes we are out of our body, like go somewhere else and zone out. But it's important to hear now. So I am talking with you live. Thank you for joining live and sipping my coffee. Mm, very tasty. So to be in current here now in our body, consciously, the meditation helps us this oneness in our physical body. So let us consciously breathe the air, oxygen around us into a physical body. A low conscious oxygenization and give our attention to this breath, all right? Nothing else. The only thing I ask you is to open your eyes wide awake. Sometimes meditation is to close in and find in the peace inside of our body and meditate, sit for hours and hours. That's one way to do. But this one here is to open our eyes and give our focus to the breath, each breath together. And then noticing the feeding. So before doing so, we want to choose the one feeding that we would like to have at the end of today's giving. So now we know where we are in the feeding. I'm excited. So at the end of this together, gathering now, what kind of feeding I would like to have is I would like to feel inspired inspired mm, how about yours so again write it down 
inspired. That's mine. How about yours? So when you choose yours, like exciting, happy, um, let's see. What else? Um, energized, that's one thing. Or feeding love, that's also positive. So when you choose that, we want to embody that word on each breath we take consciously. Okay? So, let us take a long, deep breath, counting three from nose. One now. Two. Three. One more time. Counting three, one from nose. Now one, two, three. Hold it. Hold it. The last one with the silence. So take the, all the air around you from nose and then release from mouth with no longer needing energy. All right? Ready? Let's go. Thank you. So, this conscious breathing exercise you can do anytime in between work, in between appointment, in between shopping, anytime before you're studying some action, creation, just noticing where we are in the feeding state, choose the one word, and then inhale, and then exhale, and then be current, here, now, so that each part of us is participating through this here, now, under our consciousness. So thank you. And today I'd like to talk about this holiday walkout, Mind and Spirit, 22 Days Walkout Challenge. I said 22 days. And that was actually a mistake. Originally, it was uh, 21 days, three weeks. And then I unconsciously or subconsciously being guided to write as 22 days. So you guys see it as 22 days. So I want to make it as 22 days to the last day to celebrate a workout accomplishment. To get ready for New Year's, 
together. So what we do is to each day give our conscious attention to ourselves. Because we all deserve our attention and love ourselves, what we are doing, what we didn't do, what we want to do, you know, what we want to become something. So we just give a conscious attention and listen to our own needs. So then we can serve our needs better with more loving attitude, become a better listener of our own heart needs and we can choose the action more aligned to this heart of the matter. So who's going to be the good listener of our own true voice? Perhaps that our true voice is deserving to be heard, you know. Not as an complaint, but in a way that fulfilling the needs. Our true voice is needing attention from someone. Who would be the practical someone? That's ourselves. That's our observer self. So our challenge is again that observer conscious awareness is 5% of our system in this each day, 24 hours, now moment. So the exercise is to use this 5% consciously to connect our needs inside of us, underneath of the belief system, the true voice in our heart. That's a good start to begin. So each day, I'm going to ask you a simple question. So what you need to do is to answer in that question consciously or unconsciously. So to participate, you need pen and then paper, write it down each day for 22 days. And then your willingness to get to know about yourself more intimately. And this is the work that something that you can do as your holiday gift for yourself or your spilt sakes. This is time to review what you've been experiencing this year so far, each month, one by one. So what is waiting for your attention to get excited about? What will be needing to reconnect new ideas and excitement? So. Each day, little by little, answering the questions to get in notice about ourselves and more familiar with where we are, where you are, where we are heading. So basically, the updating the map of the spirit driven. The body is our ride, journey of our life. Using this opportunity, any time can be an opportunity to change. However, this holiday season is a perfect timing. Why? Because the holiday is such a uh, festive energy all around, everywhere, in the Western countries. Um, Holiday season started from Thanksgiving last week and then getting into uh, Christmas and New Year's and, you know, end up the calendar years. And some other countries and regions might have on a different festivity. However, many countries now are renewing with the calendar year. So, using this festive 
floating energy in a way that supportive to our individual creation. That's a wise way to use the flow. Go with the flow instead against it. So that's one of the things that outside world is encouraging with this festive energy. And another one is this is the time of family gathering and eating the food as quite special food as in a festive. So there is an, a two element one psychologically getting more together time with family member that create unusual state in the emotion feeding. It can be easy turned into a stress. Combining with the food is the high consumption of the sugar, the sweets, cookies and candies and dessert. You know, these, uh, the fist, part of the festival, celebrating the togetherness and thanking and, you know, and then mostly nowadays becoming a commercial base. So that actually starting from Halloween for the kids, the sugar consumption is jumping up. So what we can expect is biologically natural that our physical body's immune system will get challenged with the sugar and high, ki- high carbohydrate. So changes the system balance in a physical body easily invite in the viruses, flu. So when we get the physical challenge for our health, and then it's very difficult to sustain the loving emotion. Even if we are a loving person, when we are in challenging physical body, unhealthy, like headache, fevers, and then it's hard to sustain that peaceful, loving attitude in nature. Or we need extra energy to sustain the health, challenging of this unwanting balance, unbalanced energy. So that's what the period generally in the holiday season and in the West, Western cultures or the area that influenced by Western culture. So using this element around us as an environment for the better creation of our individuals. So the energy is Freudian festive, so we're going to use that. And challenging emotion with family member, bringing all the anxieties and remembering something not necessary to remember from long, long time ago happened as an almost traumatized memory bringing into front of us and how we're going to deal with it. So these are the good challenges to notice our conscious awareness. So instead of before reactive to this environment and energy around us, we can use this consciousness to observe, use as an opportunity to notice what we are feeding, responding, noticing, about ourselves inside of our feeding, emotion brings information, and then people around us. And family member is there 
for us to bring in all the lessons to love unconditionally, no matter what. Because except the wife or husband, we are unable to choose family member. Family member is there to teach in unconditional love, love no matter what, but love ourselves first in order to share the love with them. So that is the foundation and aligning there consciously so we can use the challenges to transform, becoming better, better, more aligned to our happy, joyful, exciting, fulfilling life experience here now. So even the family is happy if you are hard time resonating your own happy within your heart then that's an issue you know that deserve your love before loving someone else let us start with the self love and this 22 days holiday mind spirit workout is an opportunity to give our attention to ourselves and starting with self love in order to love others more deeper loving and conditionally this is june universe at ninja intuitive three minutes blind intuitive reading quick keys so today special live at splicker.com iheart radio thank you for joining me live if you are interested in to join this 22 days holiday mind and spirit workout me asking you each day questions and then build the muscle conscious awareness to become clear about what we are where we are what we want to create for the next personal message me facebook at june universe personal message me at June universe. June as um, month of June, March, April, May, June, July, that June. Universe. One word, June universe. At Facebook, personal message me and say, hey, I'm in to this 22 days mind and spirit holiday workout challenge. So then I'm going to send you the detail, information, and the link so that all of us who only to commit and do the walkout will get the special link and then connect with me each day to do the exercise, to transform, get organized, get clean, all the messy mind and chaos and the dreams and ideas but unfinished project everywhere so we're gonna get organized one by one clean up the mind get organized what you are noticing what you're feeding and then laser like focus getting clarity to start the new year 2000 17 wow almost ending 2016 guys so let us get ready for new year together we are strong so personal message me facebook at june universe june universe say i'm in to this 22 days mind and spirit workout challenge get organized thought clear focus on what excites you most get ready 
to clean up the year 2016 and start the new year with heart of the matter with self love okay so i'd like to give our uh, intuitive reading 3 minutes to um as usual so when i do a 3 minutes blind reading I would like you to embody the feeding words that you chose for the day. Do you remember the, your feeding word? Mine is inspired. So then when I'm delivering the intuitive insight to these requesters, I would like you to send that good thought to the requester as if they already experienced that in their world in the perfect way and then send a good thought out it will come back as an energy in this universal energy return system in this co-creative field of oneness as an energy so when you send it out it's coming back to the feeling that you are embodying it that's the benefit of um, energy of oneness co-create together archive listener you at this present moment is the connecting point of you and us as in the field of oneness because everything is happening here now. So connect this energy of oneness and utilize that field to your local conscious creation, being part of energy of oneness, okay? So, um, I would like to give my focus to the first reading for three minutes. The first symbol is salt. Salt. Life path. Okay. Here's the three minutes. I'm getting a sense that this salt, I'm getting a sense that you are feeling that current situation on your creation is kind of challenging and not so aligned to what you intentionally created. However, I'm sensing that this is sort of like a um, learning curve that when you are on the stage that your ideas and wishes bring that into that earth reality. So that invisible element like inspiration and idea to make it physical that needs a transformation and somewhat challenges because the physical reality needs a structured way to bring the solidity and practicality to share as an earth reality to experience as your new reality. So that transform, you know, it's like uh, when you go into the space with um, space shuttle, for example, without feeding any gravity and spending all the, you know, month and years and then coming back to Earth. And there is a now, um, gravity need to be engaged into what you get as an idea to bring it into this Earth reality. So sometimes it feels like a damaged of the, um, idea but it's it's actually more earth reality structure is quite need an adjustment from um idea level so it using the chakra colors is like a purple and violet and communication blue and the heart of the mother above belly 
is already concluded. It's like really owning that reality. However, to bring that into give birth to earth reality is needing that sort of exercise. So the feet and the color red and stay with the color red and exercise that feet instead of、um, above. Belly area, more of、um, legs and、uh, knees to get grounded with the physical exercise. So that will help you to get strength, strengthening that everyday participation to your creation. Good luck. This is the request, the symbol of salt, life path. How is that? I think I can give another one. Okay, the other one is lavender. Life bath, three minutes. Okay, I have a sense that this lavender thing is a、um, little bit of a romantic tension underneath of this. Particular situation that you are so occupied right now.、Um, your self center is sort of like、um, so open to welcoming this, I guess it's a partner and more of romantic partner or relationship, intimate relationship partner. However, seems to be now is good to give your focus on the independent self love. More love towards yourself, to strengthen your own individual personal identity, in order to deepen this relationship towards someone that you are now feeling drawn to. I'm getting the sense that this is the time for you to exercise that your loving heart to really becoming full. Person, independent.、Um, this can be a good opportunity to boost in the self-esteem that you deserve to get in stronger, in order to experience the more freedom and in individuality outside of、uh, depending to something, some others. So the learning about depending on skills and own feeling and own choices, and connecting to that loving heart, to love yourself first in order to love together intimacy in a more deeper next level. So that can be a good way to observe your feeling. So、uh, I I want to see you to voice out your career or like something outside of the intimate love and relationship, but to love yourself to connect with the community or society or family, to.、Um, Affirming your individuality, so that allow you to magnetize that loving partner in the intimate love and relationship partner in more soul connected partnership for the year 2017. Good luck! I'm sending lots of love and good energy to your creation. This is the symbol of lavender. Category of life, but this is June universe. You can also request a three minute, excuse me, blind <laughs> intuitive reading request. Going to www. that future forecast. dot com, www. that future forecast. dot com. So thank you for joining me live and guys join 22 days workout challenge, mind and spirit. Come visit my Facebook, Facebook search June Universe and personal message me if you're interested to join my this program workout 22 days each day we do exercise. Send me a personal message. Thank you for connecting me for this co-creative. Energy of oneness. I see you next time. Until then, all my love and healing to your heart.